right, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, time for the trending topics. And the wave continues. Not sure when it's going to end, but just keeps on rolling. So, a new story and a new story to an older story. Amanda Seals, who a bunch of you know from being around and from Insecure, has added to the Russell Simmons fuel to the fire. Took to social media saying she isn't surprised about the allegations that he has. Claims a while ago she had a meeting with Simmons. And he said to her, um, have we ever... (laughs) With the F word. Still said she responded no. She said Russell responded, all right, because I would have remembered that, right? (laughs) Wait a minute. Oh, my God. She went on to caption the video. It was a video with a lengthy explanation why it takes some women so long to come forward with their accusations. Please listen and let me know if this seems right. PSA. For anyone who says, why they wait so long? You wait because as a woman raised in a, pa- a, pa- a patriarchal rose before oh, sexist, but what were you wearing society? You understand power dynamics and even... When there are witnesses to any level of sexual harassment slash assault, it will always be you who is questioned for incurring the offense. You wait because your vision is bigger than their indiscretion and you refuse to let it derail you from your goals. You wait because you don't even want to acknowledge the bleepery, you know what I meant, for longer than you have to when you know the odds that there will be no consequences. You'll be dismissed or worse, defiled yet again or would rather get on with the positive things in your life. You wait Wait because especially when it's a black man of prestige, you're conditioned not to speak defamatory truths for fear will undermine their con- contributions to the community. Lastly, you wait because you don't even want to believe it your damn self. Wow. Yet so many of us have so many of these stories when we come to operate like a clandestine anti hashtag creep life's coalition of alerting others to watch out for so and so. Deep. I mean, deep, 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 deep. Story still developing. The newest story on the horizon, a woman claiming she was assaulted at French Montana's birthday party. TMZ reported a woman called 911 from his uh, birthday bash at the Calabasas, California crib last month, alleging she was drugged, raped, and punched, then thrown out of the house naked. Police reported they arrived on the scene but left without making any arrests because they found no evidence to back up the claim. Officials also said cops were called to the home earlier in the night when a fight broke out between two women who were forced to leave the property. This is the problem. And, and I'm not making light of or taking anything away from any woman that claims to have been sexually assaulted or harassed. It's just that we are supposed to live in this innocent until proven guilty situation, but it's more times the other way around. The allegation is so loud, and then when it's not, if it's found out true, it's really quiet. So by no means, way, form, or fashion is any sexual harassment or um, assault acceptable or any shape, way, form, or fashion. And ladies, you should speak your truth whenever you feel comfortable about it at your first convenience. All right? Big Tig. Back with more Big Tigger Show. Next on B103. Y'all know what it is, man.